Sean Aswani here, demoing the Bogner Ecstasy Red Pedal. The Ecstasy Red Pedal is based on the red channel of the Ecstasy Amp, and it's got a few different versions noted here in the structure. Here's my tone with the guitar straight into the amp, and I'm using a uh, ESP uh, straight into a Bogner Goldfinger 90 clean channel. Super clean. Now with the pedal engaged. So a brief description of the pedal. It's, uh, it's basically like having a preamp in a box. Um, it works amazingly well in front of any clean tone of an amp. Um, and it also has a boost function that has separate boost level um, and also you can add uh, gain as well with this knob right here. So they also light up. So when the boost is kicked in, you can add the desired amount of boost. I have it at 12 o'clock and you can also add a, uh, a desired extra amount of gain on top of the gain knob that is already in function. I'm gonna play a couple of examples for you uh, with some of the settings that I like. Um, so here's an example with the uh, 20th anniversary ecstasy setting. I'm going to do a pre-EQ bright switch in B1 and I'm going to go into the tight mode. It gives you a little bit of a shelf on the low end as well as uh, some of the highs and um, it gives a nice tight focus sound. Great for recording. <laughs> Now I'm going to give you an example with the Variac switch on and I'm also going to turn the boost on. Uh, the Variac on basically gives you that real spongy feel. Um, I also want to make a note that the pedal has, um, it's very articulate and you'll be able to hear in the setting. Here's my tone with the pedal off so you guys can kind of compare. <laughs> kick in the Variac and uh, I'm going to keep it in the 20th anniversary setting and I'm going to put it in the tight mode. Um, so here's the example. <laughs> So you guys can hear, um, it's super articulate. It's one of my favorite pedals actually. 
um, just to go direct into a clean. So I'm gonna keep the same setting, uh, put the bright switch on bright two, keep it in the tight mode, and then I'm gonna um, kick in the boost. So in the boost setting, I have the boost set at uh, 12 o'clock and I have the gain also set. At, uh, I'm probably gonna bring it down to 11 because there's enough gain coming out of the pedal as it is. So the boost is kicked in, but first here, here's the tone with the pedal on. <laughs> Now with the boost kicked in. This makes it great for leads. Um, I usually kick that in uh, when I want to get that added um, kind of tone, like sustain and playability really for lead playing. That's why I keep the gain um, setting the way it is. Typically I have my gain um, setting for rhythm and lead to be almost identical. Um, and the boost setting basically gives me a little bit added uh, volume the way I have it set at 12 o'clock, but it also gives it that like flexibility and playability. So I recommend going out and checking out this pedal for yourself. It's got quite a bit of um, versatility and flexibility. I've just given you um, only a, a small number of the uh, capabilities of this pedal. Um, the cool thing about it is, is that you're able to like um, kind of mess with these switches and have it function with any sort of, uh, any sort of amp, uh, which makes it really, really versatile. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.